why am I bothered that this person isn't saying I'm sorry? And so I have to look within my heart and myself and see what is that triggering for me? This person might be uncomfortable with saying I'm sorry. They might not want to look at their own sense of guilt. They might not want to look at their own sense of self-responsibility. Maybe they're feeling ashamed. Maybe they're feeling so embarrassed. And they don't want to say that. But why does that have to bother me? Why do I need to be upset? Why do you think it is that some people will not apologize when they do something that it's clearly something they it's their responsibility but they will not see it as that or they will not say I'm sorry or they will not feel that I'm sorry and share it with you what do you think that is and I've been exploring that because I've had a um, couple cases recently including uh, one where I had an appointment with somebody um, that I was um, paying to uh, help me in um, a certain way without trying to be a little vague so that I don't give um, out too much information on this uh, to maintain their privacy and confidentiality. But um, I had an appointment and I was the client of that, um, or the customer, let's say, of that uh, specific appointment. So it wasn't like my client, it was I am the customer of that. And they completely um, lost track of time, they, they missed the time of the appointment, which these things happen, right? Like, I, I get it, completely, completely get it. Uh, there's nothing wrong about that. Like, sometimes we forget about our appointments. But what's interesting to me is that they didn't say I'm sorry. They didn't say, oops, uh, I, I completely lost track of time. I'm sorry, how can I make this up for you? Something along these lines that you would normally expect or that I think that we should normally expect. Or my judgment is that why are you not saying I'm sorry, right? Because if I had done something like that, I would be terribly sorry and I would really feel, how could I have missed this? I'm so sorry. Like I would totally express that. But here's the thing. I am judging that this person should say I'm sorry and I'm judging that that's the right way to do it and it feels good it's it's it feels good when the other person takes responsibility for something that they've done right it feels good to us it's like okay you see me you you see that this was actually a miscommunication on your end and that there needs to be some apology but what I wanted to dig deeper into myself is why did this bother me and and why is it that I have that expectation from the other person to take responsibility when obviously it's not a comfortable place for them to go to? Or maybe they, they're not sorry. Maybe it's just like, yeah, I just forgot our appointment. But the thing is, as outrageous this might feel, right, as a customer, it's like, like I'm paying you for this. Why would you not show up? right? Like, how could you miss that appointment? Like, I'm paying you for it. But as much as I could feel like I'm all justified for this, and to be upset, to be like, how could they forget their appointment and not even say I'm sorry, or that they want to make it up? Like, how could they? I could make a whole story about this. But the bottom line here is that, let's get to the root. Why am I really bothered? Why am I bothered that this person isn't saying I'm sorry? And so I have to look within my heart and myself and see what is that triggering for me? This person might be uncomfortable with saying I'm sorry. They might not want to look at their own sense of guilt. They might not want to look at their own sense of self-responsibility. Maybe they're feeling ashamed. 
Maybe they're feeling so embarrassed and they don't want to say that. But why does that have to bother me? What I have to be, why do I need to be upset that they are not saying I'm sorry? So my answer to that, it it's, can go quite deep. Because <laughs> uh, if you've been following me, you know I like to get to the root cause of it all. And I talk about 11 different root causes of anything that has been triggering us, anything that we feel that we're stuck with. There's 11 different root causes. And I talk about that in my uh, free masterclass, the, th the three secrets to get unstuck from anything that's been holding you back. Uh, so you can check that out if you want to dive deeper into these 11 root causes. I'll put a link below. But really, why does this have to bother me? What is the root cause here of me being upset? So I really need to look within my heart. And I invite you to look within your heart is, why am I really upset that the other person isn't taking responsibility and not apologizing? Why can't I have compassion that they can't, they don't want to go there. They don't want to go to these emotions. They're feeling so ashamed that they're probably suppressing it and denying it. But that has nothing to do with me. That has nothing to do with my value and my worth. So why do I take it personally? Why does it upset me? Why do I feel like they did it to me? So let's get to the root cause. Check out my free masterclass if you want to dive deeper. And let me know if you relate to this. And I'd love to know if you've experienced situations like that in the past where you felt um, triggered by somebody who's not owning up to their own mistakes. If you are uh, the person who feels like you would totally apologize, like you would overly apologize, <laughs> yet others don't. Let me know if you relate to that. And let's take it a step deeper. Let's get to the root. Let's get to the bottom of why this really upsets us. So join my masterclass and let's continue this discussion together.